Good afternoon, everybody. Semi Thunder here. And today, I just wanted to start this video off by kind of giving you an, a perspective of where I am. So I'm visiting my in-law, my mother-in-law, and um, my wife and I are down here for the weekend. And um, I feel very fortunate that I'm able to use this outdoor space today to be able to kind of showcase my cards. I went to a couple of card shops in uh, the in this area, and um, I picked up some things, and I was going to be able to kind of show you uh, what I picked up. Um, all vintage. Um, might as well just kind of get the camera set up for you. I'll hopefully, you can do that gracefully here. Take me a second while I just kind of get this sorted out. A little quick zoom in here. And I think that's good enough. Move it over just a hunch. Try to center it. Perfect. So move this down. So essentially, um, yesterday, I, as you may have watched, I did a box break of the... Um, the classic wax sports cards and, and um, picked up some great things um, disregard that Bill Buckner rookie that was part of the pack that was part of the box break yesterday but um, never anything wrong with seeing it again but everything else here I picked up from a card shop called House of Cards it's in Silver Springs Maryland uh, the I'm not sure if he's the owner or the co-owner but he is a actually he's an expert in sports memorabilia his name is Brian um, he was very helpful in providing me some tips and resources and ensuring that I take good care of these cards here. So um, I recommend going there. There's a great deal. If you really love vintage cards, you'll find a box, a variety of boxes actually. There's a couple of boxes where there's 50% off cards. There's a box where you have vintage cards that range between two and four dollars, and then you have a box of card box of vintage that's like three for a dollar. And then secretly there's a drawer, almost like a like a hutch or some sort of cabinet that has a drawer where you has or has five cent cards. And um, I didn't know this until when I was there yesterday until another collector came by who was also doing the same thing I was doing, which is just finding cards for all of his sets. And he told me that there was a five cent bin. Or not a bin, but a drawer. So I went over and opened it up and I found a lot of um, 70s cards that were like a nickel a piece. Nothing substantial, but there were some, you know, some diamond in the roughs that were in there and I decided to take advantage and buy them up. Um, the Place House of Cards, I have some video footage. I'm going to hopefully put, you know, disperse it in this video to kind of give you a kind of like a visual idea of what exactly this place looked like. It was, it was you know your average card shop, but just had a lot of cool historical items in there that date back to the you know, 40s, 30s, and so forth. But, you know, I figured why don't we jump in. Um, I'll kind of go through the this stack first. These are the, the, the better cards of the stack, but we'll go through and um, kind of show what we, what we have. So, this again, this Buckner was from the pack break yesterday. It just happened to be on here, so I'm going to put this down. But this is uh, these. This is this is a mixture of the five cent cards, three for a dollar. Um, essentially, was what we're looking at. So the twenty part. This twenty pros was a five cent card. The Fergie Jenkins. I got this beat up card from the seventy one set. This was I think like one of the cards for three for a dollar, and I just for twenty thirty for thirty cents. I figured that was okay. Uh, this is a five cent card. The George Foster Lee May. Got the Bird and John Denny. Um, ERA, ERA leaders from the 77 set. Cool um, Joe Torre card from the 75, 77 set. Uh, another Tony Perez. Got a Joe Necro. Another Joe Necro from the 76. Tony Perez with the 79 set. This is the Fidrich uh, from the 78. This is a cool card. I found this Phil Necro, Nolan Ryan card. I, this is in the 5 cent bin. Another, I found a second one. And this cool Joe Torre card as a player and as a manager, I thought that was kind of cool. I've never seen this card before. Um, we got, I have one of these cards already, the Raleigh Fingers, Bill Campbell, Leading Fireman. As you all know, I love collecting Raleigh Finger cards. This is in the five cent bin. 
Got Tuck McGraw, uh, Steve McCaddy, rookie card. Um, Lisa's favorite, Mickey Lalich, when he's with the Mets here. Um, prior, prior to this, he was with the Tigers. Rico Petrocelli with the Red Sox from the 76. Um, Bobby V with the Mets. Here you have George Foster, RBI leaders. All of these came from the five cent bin, if I'm not mistaken. And Mickey Lalich, record breaker. This is still with the Tigers. I don't know what year this is from. I want to say 76. You got a 79 Tug McGraw. And now we're kind of going back to the 75. We got the Rusty Staub. Cool. You have a beat up Carl Yostremski from the 72, an action card. And I found these two Jim Hunters in there. This one seemed to be in the better condition, better shape, but these were in the three for a dollar. So I kind of thought they were cool. You got a Luis Aparicio, the Red Sox. And um, I, you know, my, I love collecting San Francisco Giants cards. I think this is from, this shows, I guess this has the, uh, the leaders, the records. Oh, the records. Okay, so these are like all the big records. And um, I don't know if, this is 19, I don't, I don't know what year this is. I want to say this is 1973, if I had to guess, just based on the style. And I think at that point, Willie Mays was on the Mets. So, or is that 74? I can't remember. 75, Goose Gossage. Horrible, not great in the cut, but nice card nonetheless. Uh, I got a Jim Hunter, all-star pitcher with Rick Wise. Louis Tion from the 76. Oh, these are from the, um, the break yesterday, this Larry Bird card. I'll have to do some research on that one and figure out what it's going for. And here's some of the, um, these are all the 69s that I picked up. These are in the very inexpensive bin. I think these are all probably in the three for a dollar. So, um, got some, you know, commons here, Bob Espermonte, Jim Ferry. I think there might be some Hall of Famers or some super, some stars, Claude Raymond, Ken Berry. Here's some rookie stars, Alan Closter, John Cumberland. We've got Wayne Causey. Mayo Smith, got a Willie Crawford, Gary Peters. So these cards, if I had to if I had to guess the condition, were probably in the range of like good to, or to probably very good. Nothing nothing outstanding, but like with you know, I kind of realized that with uh, condition is not that as big of a deal. I just the only thing I can't really part with, I can't really go with is if they have any sort of pen marks or any any sort of anything written on them. Um, I can deal with soft corners, I can deal with creases, I just can't deal with a card that's ripped up or written on. Uh, I had a, I, I, as I was doing these searches, I ended up getting a couple duplicates or triplicates, so just bear with me here. We got Leon Wagner, Sonny Jackson, another Leon Wagner as I was talking about. Got Steve Whitaker, Daryl Patterson. God, this is a cool name, Zoilo Versailles. Versailles. I, I, I wonder where he's from, actually. It says he's from born and home in Bloomington, Minnesota. But I wonder if he's like a first generation, if I had to guess. It's such a unique name. I thought maybe he might have been French. Maybe, perhaps. It says 1965, Zoila was the AL's MVP. I didn't know that. What was this number? 65? 19 home runs, 77 RBIs? He was, I, that's, I didn't think, I guess at the time, the AL's MVP. I have to look that one up. I really don't know much about that player. Here's a Luis Aparicio. I think he's a Hall of Famer. He's with the Orioles for many years. Jack Bellingham. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you all see it. Jesus Alou. We all know him. Ray Culp. You got Bill Rigney. You got Tom Murphy from the Angels. Another Jim Ferry. Dave Boswell and the Twins. Don Wirt with a decent amount of creases on here. Tony Kleininger. Richie Scheinblum. Bob Tillman looking very happy. And we got a rookie stars here. We got Dave Campbell, Les Kane. More rookie stars here from the Red Sox. Jim LaHood and John Thibodeau. Thibodeau. Dennis Menke. Got Jake Gibbs. John Bacabella. Got uh, Dennis Ripened. Ripened. Kurt Bleffery. 
Got a cool uh, Sporting News card. These inserts for the All-Stars. Bill Freehan, that's a nice one. I don't know if he's a Hall of Famer. A, I know I have a bunch of his cards. Joe Sparma. Got Bill Melton. Got a cool card of Chico Ruiz. Nice card of Lee May. Another Luis Aparicio. And uh, Hoyt Wilhelm, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. Um, I know he went from, like, they technically classify him as one of the um, first relievers in baseball, or one of the first closers, actually, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a nice stack of cards. A lot of them were three for a dollar. I think they were all three for a dollar. Maybe there was one that was like a dollar, but um, a nice stack to kind of put a, put a good dent in my current search of, nine, of completing the 69 set. And so these are the more valuable ones that I picked up. Um, start here. This was half off. This was in the half off bin. Um, it has a major crease, uh, but you know, with Willie, I think with uh, not Willie, um, Mickey Mantle, these cards are a lot pretty valuable for that reason. So this was got this one for seven seven fifty. Probably came out to around seven, just to kind of give an even number if I had to guess. Got a Tony Oliva here. This one looks like it'd be in good condition. Got this for five. This was in the half off bin. Um, quite a player in his day. Um, I think he is a Hall of Famer. I uh, got Gene Michael. This one I got for five with the Yankees. It was a shortstop. This one was in gr pretty good shape for, uh, for the condition. And he almost signed with the Knicks uh, for a basketball career, which I guess was not as uncommon considering Dave DeBusher played for the White Sox and then played for the Knicks. This is a card I've been looking for, and uh, I thought the price was really good. I got this for seven fifty. Um, it's in pretty good, really good shape. It looks like no creases, as far as I can tell, and really good corners. Centering's a little off, but otherwise, it's a it's a fine looking card. And um, yeah, I'll have these little pictures here on opening day, nineteen sixty eight. Carl clouded two home runs. It's really cool. I love these, and it looks like a, a cameraman's holding a bird to kind of uh, keep his focus. <laughs> um, I gotta read more of these. You got a rookie star from the Red Sox. You got Bill uh, Congliaro, Sid O'Brien, Fred Wentz. I got this for seven fifty as well, and the condition of it's pretty sharp. Uh, like a tiny nick on this side here, but otherwise it looks really good. And um, yeah, the high, the high numbers I think are gonna go for a lot more, as we all know. Uh, this Al Kaline I got for seven fifty, so half off. Um, Good condition overall. I mean, some soft corners, but nothing, nothing to cry home about. And um, one thing that was always kind of threw me a little bit was the fact that these cards. Some of the cards had like the, the you know the tops logo up here and all that stuff, but and also the um, you know the not so much the trivia, but just like um, the did you know about this player? And this one shows it here, but no little cartoony thing on on this side. So it's still a nice card. One of my favorites to pick up is good old Boog Powell. This one's a little roughed up. I think I got this one for a dollar. So any of the ones that come in these little jackets here came, I think, were for a dollar. But, you know, um, still, I am okay with this in this condition. I think it's for a dollar. I, I will not say no to a Boog Powell, who's a Hall of Famer. Um, if I, I think he's a Hall, yeah, he is a Hall of Famer. And um, I'm not going to say no to that. This was a cool card. You got the batting leaders for that year. You got Carl Yastrzemski and Tony Oliva, Danny Cater on here. The condition's pretty roughed up. Uh, rounded corners and a, probably a little bit of a crease or uh, a dent in here, but you know, for a dollar, it's not a bad card. Um, it probably goes for, you know, in mint condition, probably for like $20, $25 if I had to guess, maybe a little less, but you know, for a dollar, I'm not gonna say no. And yeah, you know, I'm trying to build, trying to complete the 69 set without breaking the bank, so. Uh, this is a cool card. This is in pretty good shape, and I found it for a buck. The Gibson World Series card, win six straight game, six straight series game. Nice condition. I think so. So here we go. We got a uh, Fergie Jenkins, Bob uh, Bob Gibson. I love collecting Gibson cards. Fergie Jenkins when he was when he was young. Uh, Bill Singer. These are nice cards. This is not bad shape, not a bad shape either. I don't think, there might be a small crease, I think like right here. I don't know if that's a crease or not, it looks like one. Good condition on the back. No stain, no serious stains. Like it, it looks like it got a little bit of a print error here. Like a little print defect or something. 
Yeah, right. We got uh, Lisa's favorite again, Mickey Lalich from the 69 set. It's a good shot of him. You know, he's looking like he's warming the ball up a little bit while he's taking the, the photographer's taking the shot. Here's that cool cartoon we got ourselves. So it looks, I don't know if that's a tiger. Probably, yeah, yeah, a tiger. <laughs> of course it'd be a tiger. He plays for Detroit. Mickey pitched six shutouts for Detroit in 1967. I, you know, I haven't looked up if he is a Hall of Famer, but I imagine he probably is. He's looked like he's been pretty, yeah, pretty solid. It's like one of those borderline um, Hall of Famers, but I don't know. Jim Bunning with the uh, Pirates here. He, I think he must have been traded. And um, nice card, nice condition. A little soft, soft corner action here and all, all around, but the center is decent. Uh, Jim has pitched 40 major league shutouts. That's pretty cool. Here's the Bob Gibson Sporting News. Got this for a buck. Kind of move this along a little bit so I'm not holding it all up. Got a rookie stars. Terry Harmon, Duffy Dyer, Daryl Chaney. Here's a checklist with, uh, looks like Brooksy. Brooksy's on there, but this one's pretty creased up. I think I got two of these. But, you know, because I was going through so many cards when I was at this card shop, so it definitely, um, you know, definitely took a lot of time to break through everything. I, I enjoy collecting Joe Torre cards when he was, uh, when he was starting his career. So I thought this is the cool card of him. Joe works as a stockbroker in the offseason. I did not know that. Perhaps he's, that's why he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, a higher up in the, um, you know, higher up in the uh, in the baseball world, you know, being, being the vice president, having a business background might help. One of my favorites, Juan Marichal, for a dollar. Nice card of Marichal. Led the NL with 10 shutouts in 65. One of the um, early players that came from the Dominican Republic, I think. Made quite, a, quite an impact in the major leagues. Hall of Famer, clearly. I'm sure they celebrate him in the Dominican Republic for being, um, you know, just uh, one of the pivotal players to kind of represent the country in the major leagues. Very special player. Uh, Maury Wills, nice condition card here at the Expos. This one I think was two dollars. This was in the in that bin where it's like anywhere between two and four dollars. So this one, I got the White Sox rookie stars. This was kind of cool, but it was a little creased up. This one was $2 with uh, Ted Shows How. I guess Mike Epstein was a rookie, and Ted Williams is trying to explain to him the, the, the fundamentals of getting the best at-bats. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I guess, yeah, Ted was kind of like a scientist, as they say. He was a, took a scientific approach to baseball. Here you got a checklist, the fourth series, with Don Drysdale as the, as the focus. Nice cards, Sporting News All-Stars. Tony Perez for $2. I thought this is a good price for his card with the Reds. A little beat up on the corners, but, you know, again, I'm I'm happy to pay that price. Him, uh, Puerto Rico. Tony led the New York, Pennsylvania League with a 348 batting average. This is probably one of his earliest cards, but he had quite a career. Got Jim Cat for $2. Nice condition card all around. I think it was definitely a uh, nice pickup. He won a game in the 1965 World Series. Very nice. Uh, this Tony Oliva, so I have two of them now. I didn't realize I had two, but this one was $2. Obviously, the centering on the top is not great, but condition-wise, it's pretty good. And this is a second 19... This is a, a duplicate of the Red Sox rookie stars that I showed earlier. So, this one's kind of cool. This one has three Hall of Famers on it. For $2, you got Fergie Jenkins, Bob Gibson, Juan Marichal. Good condition all around. Pretty good. Some soft corner action, but very solid. This card probably goes for a lot more. So, um, nice to have it. Nice to add it in there. Got Johnny Padres the pa with, with the Padres. Played for the Brooklyn Dodgers for a little bit. Had a pretty solid career. I don't know if he's in the Hall of Fame. I have to look him up. But it looks like he's had quite a career. Here we got the rookie stars. Just American League in general. The Between the Yankees, the Senators, and the Twins. Got Ron Santo. I got this for three bucks. Great player. 
don't think he made the Hall of Fame, or maybe he, I really need to check in on my on my research and knowledge on some of these players. Here's a checklist with I think Denny McLean. Love the glasses. Got this for three. Knocking the checklist out on, on my che on my checklist for which cards I need. So it's cool that I found him there. And here's another Brooksy checklist. Got this one for four. Might be in better condition than the other one that I have. I think this, the other one doesn't have a crease. Oh, the other one has a crease. This one is pretty clean, just with some soft corners. Uh, 68 batting leaders. I think I showed this one earlier. Got this one for four. I have <laughs> two of them back to back. So I have three all together. And probably the pri the biggest prize of the day was getting this one. This one was straight up $25 for a Johnny Bench Sporting News. I think this is in excellent shape. Uh, great centering all around. Um, I needed this one. So this was like my big spend. So all in all, I'm not, what I'm not showing you outside of these cards is I also bought some supplies. I bought some more ja, nine page, uh, I'm sorry, nine slot page. I'm not sure the term for it. Uh, the, the, those plastics, those plastic pages you put in binders to put your nine, like nine cards in. So I bought two boxes of those. They each have a hundred pages each. Um, and I bought a bunch of binders for a buck a piece to really kind of do some maintenance work on uh, my desk at home because it's really becoming very cluttered. And um, so all together, um, between this stack, this, this stack here, um, it came out to around 180, I think 180 or 185 um, at that card shop that I went to in Silver Springs. But, you know, I made a nice dent on my uh on these cards here to be able to um, add to my collection so i'm very pleased with how much i spent and also got some cool vintage cards to kind of put it in my hodgepodge vintage binder which i have a video of if you want to go check it out the second card shop i went to i didn't really buy too much from there i bought this set it is the 19 let's see if i can show this on camera 85 tops baseball set it was selling for fifty, but they had a they had a deal where they were selling it for half off. Everything on this on the shelf was half off, so I decided to buy this. Um, and it had the two key like the two key cards had the McGuire, which was in great shape, and the Pucket. And they were selling these cards by themselves for like twenty and thirty bucks. So, you know, for the entire set, everything here. Came out, yeah, for $25. I was hesitant at first because I'm really trying to get better at not buying too much junk wax. But I felt like I was, if I, if the, if I had another opportunity later on, it would be, it would cost maybe, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks to do it. So I took the opportunity then to do it. And that shop is uh, Sports Card Heroes, I think is what it's called. And it's in, um, Laurel, Maryland, I think that's the, that's the location. Um, they had some decent stuff there for vintage as well. Uh, I personally like the one, the card shop in Silver Springs more. Um, so I probably will be going back there more often when I do come to visit here in Maryland. But otherwise, you know, the sets, if you're looking to buy a set and you live in that area, you live in the D.C. area, and you want to buy a set like in the 80s, they have some good deals there. You can get some good deals, like half, they're doing a half off on sets. And uh, they also have those sets and binders, but they're, you know, they, they have those for 30%. And then they do have like 70, you know, 70 sets as well, but I don't know, they don't have, those don't have discounts. I think it's just the 80s and 90s that they're discounting right now, which makes the most sense because they don't really cost nearly as much. They're rather inexpensive. Um, but that about does it for today. Um, you know, that's kind of makes up my, um, my car, my baseball card adventure while I'm down here. And that was my biggest focus was to really hammer in the, um, 69 set as much as I could. And I found a lot of good stuff. There's still some stars I need, but you know, a little, every, every little bit helps. Um, I have about 200 cards I need that are, that are remaining in my list. So hopefully I'll get around to them. Maybe I'll finish it up sometime in the fall, maybe, maybe before then. 
But, um, yeah, I have some stuff in the mail coming when I return back to New York on Monday. So I, And also I have a, a really great set that I hope to showcase to you on Monday or Tuesday that I'm getting for a great deal. And I'm really excited about this, and I'm really excited to show you. So uh, if you want, I would highly recommend hitting that subscribe button to keep up to date. Hit that bell icon to also be... to keep track keep noti to be notified of uh, future videos and please if you really enjoy this enjoy the vintage then the junk wax stuff hit that like button but most importantly the subscribe if you subscribe right now i'm getting close to 50 subscribers and once i get the 50 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway of vintage cards um combination of you know maybe some early 80s some retro stuff all the way back to the 60s i'm going to throw in some cool stuff in there for the winner and um you have a good chance of winning. I mean, you know, with only 50 subscribers, I think the chances are very good. But nevertheless, um, just want to say I thank you very much for watching, y'all. I really appreciate you guys leaving comments and leaving the likes and subscribing. And I hope to continue grinding out more videos on a daily basis. So just want to say thank you very much. Uh, have a great night. and.